What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning in. I'm really grateful for you to take the time to watch my content. Today's trick is how to automatically ensure that all your proxy servers are up and running. The solution can be applied starting with Zabbix version 4.2 and it's based on Zabbix API and the API procedure get proxy list. In order to succeed with this lab, it will be required to have an active session ID already running. Please check the video description on how to have that. And now with the explanation why it works. I have running here a template which consists of one discovery. The discovery is utilizing an HTTP agent item which is actually posting a JSON request against Zabbix API. And in the response, it receives a list of all proxies which are currently attached to the instance. The reported content is not yet completely compatible for discovery, so the pre-processing must be executed. We are saying that we are interested only in the content inside result node and the square parentheses by itself is indicating that the content is an array, an array of proxy servers. Under the LLD macro section, we need to do the binding from JSON tree to the LLD macro. The proxy name will be the name which aligns with the host node. Now we can have an item prototype. It's an internal Zabbix item which will collect an indication when the proxy was accessed for the last time. And also we have a trigger which utilizes a function uh, fuzzy time to show that your proxy is now offline for some minutes. The macro proxy fuzzy time is configured in template level and it expands to three minutes. Okay, that's pretty much it. If you decide to try out the template with your environment, make sure you meet all the prerequisites mentioned in the video description. And of course, the check now button. This is the case when it's useful. Let's have a tiny demonstration. I will open my Zabbix server host, the items section more precisely, filtering out the items which belongs to application proxy last access. Select them all and delete them all. Now under the discovery section, I will select the proxy discovery and click check now button. I will go back to my previous tab where I did delete the items. You see the item list currently is 510. And if I click again on the items, it shows three more. And I'm having again items which belongs to application proxy last access. All right, that is all I wanted to share today. The template is available through the video description. In the meantime, remember to stay creative and I see you next time. Thanks for watching.